Welcome to the Hosehead Electric Brewery Control How-To Video Series. I'm Corey with Brewtronics.com. Today I'm going to show you how to diagnose a, your temperature sensor connections. See if they are recognized by the operating system. The temperature sensors are auto-detected by the Linux operating system, that uh, a Raspbian that comes with the controller. So we can look in the files here and see if they're being recognized by the operating system. So to do that, we're going to go down here to File Manager. And on the left-hand side of File Manager, we're going to go down here to the forward slash folder. Click on that. And then on the right side of the screen, we're going into the folder called SYS. Sys. And we're going to go into the bus folder, BUS. And then we're going to go into the W1 folder, which stands for one wire. Click on that. And then we're going to go to the Devices folder. Click on that. Now if everything's working fine, you should see three or more temperature sensors, all starting with 28 dash. Each of those temperature sensors has its own unique ID code built into it from the factory. So depending on what they're programmed to is what they will show up as is here. These will always be different. Typically the first one on the list is going to be your yellow. Second on the list is going to be your blue, and third one on your list is going to be the black. But as we can see, these three are all being detected as 28 dash random numbers. So we know by looking at this that our temperature sensors are being recognized in the operating system and they should show up in the, the control software Strange Brew Elsinore or Craft Beer Pie. If you're not seeing any temperature sensors in here, you are having a connection issue. Typically, it's uh, your sensors aren't plugged in, aren't plugged in far enough all the way. The aux cord between the controller and the six-way adapter is not getting a good connection, so you can try to move it to a different port on the six-way adapter, see if you can get a better connection. Always want to do that with the power off. Make sure it is powered down before you plug and unplug any temperature sensors and also make sure that they are plugged in as far as they will go into the six-way adapter and as far as it'll go into the front of the controller. Typically those are the most common issues with uh, temperature sensors not being detected. Typically it's something simple as, as they're not plugged in as far as they need to be. Anyway, that's the video, how to do it. Hope this helps. Take care.